Hey, it's Ruben in the shop bringing you another thrift haul. I woke up this morning and I, I had that feeling. A feeling that I had to run into the Salvation Army, so I did. The parking lot was empty, only the manager's car. I walked in, he was somewhere in the, black, in the back. We were exchanging pleasantries and uh, finally I see him come in or come in from the back and I'm near the coffee mugs. And he's wearing this awesome satin jacket. And I'm like, oh, man. And this manager is known to buy stuff. So he's walking around in this jacket. I'm trying to figure out what the logo is. And uh, so I'm looking for t-shirts, flipping through, found something kind of cool. And I see him walking back, no longer wearing the jacket. And the jacket's on a hanger. And he's going to the back room. And I'm like, hey, what is that jacket? He's like, oh, I think it's an old St. Louis jacket. I'm looking at it, and he hands it to me, and it was a minor league jacket. And I was like, oh, it's minor league, and it was priced at twenty bucks. I was like, well, are you gonna, are you buying it? And he's like, oh no, um, I was just wearing it because I was cold. I was like, oh, okay. He's like, can I buy it? And he's like, oh, please do. So I put it. Uh, I didn't have a card at that point, so I'm holding this jacket, still looking, and he says. Hey, we got a bunch of coats coming out later on today. He's like, you want me to bring the racks out so you can check them? And I was like, yes. Yes, I do. So he brought out two racks of jackets, um, women's rack, men's rack, got a few items. It was a good day. It was a good day to be in the thrift store. Let's check it out. Here's the stuff. Not a lot, but some really good stuff. We'll start with this backpack. It's an Osprey backpack. It doesn't look too bad in the video, but it is pretty dirty on the outside. Um, it didn't have a price tag. I was hoping they were going to price it at a couple bucks. They priced it at five. Everything was 15% off today. Um, Veterans Day sale. And not a huge discount, but definitely not looking a gift horse in the mouth. So Osprey backpack charged me five, so it ended up being like four twenty-five. It's probably a twenty-dollar thing. Um, if it, I'm sure, brand new, it was like a hundred and fifty. But in the condition it's in, I think it's a fair twenty-dollar thing. The inside's really clean, so that's good. I got this Scentsy. Um, what is that? Like an oil warmer, scent warmer. Here's the brand. It's always underneath this little cap. Uh, Scentsy, you put the wax in there, light bulb heats it up, makes your house smell good. I wish it had a box, doesn't have a box. It was kind of a last minute purchase. It was $5, yeah, five bucks. Um, they're really easy to look up. You just type in Scentsy, I type in Scentsy Turkey. This thing's going for like 30, 40 bucks right now. So I'm gonna get that listed today. Still got time to get it to someone. We'll see how it does. Now on to the clothes. Main event. First was this Ministry End of Days long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, metal band. Um, this is from 2008. When I picked it up, I didn't think it would be worth that much money. I was hoping for 20 25 bucks. Look it up. There's only one comp right now up for sale. They're asking 120 I went to... Um, Terra Peak, checked there. There's one that sold for a hundred, but I noticed the picture. It's the same one that they're asking one twenty four. So, someone bought it and maybe didn't pay or returned it. I'm hoping I'm gonna list it for a hundred. I'm hoping to get like sixty, seventy out of it. So great start. Got this Cat in the Hat T-shirt made in the USA. Um, I it says it's a large, but I'm like it looks a little short. So is that a children's large? Did I buy a kid's shirt? Anyways, it was three bucks, as was the ministry t-shirt, so we're going to give it a go. Uh, there, there, it has a date of 96, so it is from the 90s. Next was this, DVS 14. I thought this was like a just 2014 t-shirt, but then I saw on the back, it's, what did it say, Windham 14. So, this is either like motocross or BMX. I just got it because it has the name on the back. Hopefully there's a fan out there. Again, it was 3 bucks. Hopefully that's a $30 t-shirt. Maybe it's not popular and maybe it's a, a nothing t-shirt. We'll see. Okay. 
Now let's get into the coats. So this was on the women's rack. It is a men's jacket. Um, here's the label. With these leather jackets or with all coats, sometimes the label is down here. So Juke, I looked it up. It's a 40 long. It's not a big dollar jacket. I think it has a really great look. I'm thinking that maybe it won't do good on eBay, but it might do well on... Um, Depop or Macari, we shall see. Um, next is this Overland coat. If you don't know Overland, Overland's a brand out of Taos, New Mexico. I'm in New Mexico, so I do see it around. Really high dollar stuff. Um, this jacket new is probably around $300. It's a great size, 46, soft leather. Um, it was $25, so it ends up being just over 20 with a discount, maybe a little more, 21 Um I'm going to ask 200 bucks for it, and I'll probably get north of 100 for sure. Then we have this Orvis sport coat leather with the net lining. It has cool pockets on the inside. This one's a 48 Again, it was 25 bucks minus the discount. Uh, it's really heavy and just plush i'm thinking 150 because of the size um definitely again over 100 bucks and then boom here it is here's the one he was wearing so all i typed in was sj minor league and that's the san jose giants this is by jersey express which i guess does the minor league stuff priced at 20 dollars made in the usa um, best part, it's San Jose. San Jose, people love San Jose. So you can look up San Jose jackets and do highest to lowest. You'll see a lot of San Jose shark stuff. That's the local hockey team. The black jackets go for upwards of $200. This being the minor leagues, I mean, different sport, different fan base, but same fan base. Um... I'm going to ask $200 for this one, open to offers, maybe $250 even. And you know what, guys? I think I'm going to get it. So that's what happened at the thrift store today. Great stop. Not a lot of items. Spent a grand total of $88. Um, I think I have four items here that might be three-figure items. So definitely worth it. Um, yeah. Having a good day, folks. Hoping you're having a good day. If you like this uh, this video, consider subscribing. Maybe leave me a comment. Tell me if you don't like it. Um, I'm hoping you're having a good day. We'll talk again soon. Bye.